uh, a Tomos disaster. Unfortunately, as you should see from the footage that I'm going to clip in just before this, uh, I was riding down this absolutely stunning road, which is not so far from where I live, or where my parents live at least, um, in the beautiful weather, and just as I slowed down for the 50 mile an hour section, my back wheel locked up and um, I came to a rather ungraceful halt. Unfortunately for the Tomos, the compression is there, but nowhere near as much of it as it usually has. And uh, there is some nasty noises coming from the cylinder. I suspect I've probably blown out a ring or put a hole in the piston. Um, one of the two, not sure which, which is a shame. Um, it's running at a uh, much higher two-stroke mix to petrol ratio than it should be to accommodate for the uh, extra power it's making. I don't think it's a bottom end problem. Um, I don't think it's a, a bearing because it still turns over sweetly. It's still got spark. I just think uh, the piston has succumbed to the, the higher temperature and maybe a little bit too much advance because I've been uh, ringing it out. Not to worry though, a new piston is only 13 quid and the time to rebuild it is minimal. I'm just hoping at this point that the bore has survived and that the bits of whatever has given up, be it a piston or I don't know, haven't um, found their way down the side into the rings and scratched that up. Not that it's a massive problem if it has, because it's, again, only, uh, I say only, it's only 50 quid to um, replace that. I have another engine that I can bolt into this one just to make it move again, which should take me back to my nice 32 mile an hour top speed, but uh, still more than enough to enjoy the countryside. So I'm stood here waiting for the, uh, the big estate car to show up. My car's back at home and I've uh, rung around friends and family to see if someone can come and chuck it in the back. I guess it's the advantage of such a small bike, right? Uh, yeah, don't worry, the Tomos will return in all of its glory and probably even faster again. I might say if I can find a, a ridiculously big kit for it this time. I've heard that 90cc ones exist. I think that'd be hilarious. Um, and I might even put up a rebuild video of this one and find out what went wrong. For now, it's standing in the sunshine. There are worse places to break down, right? It is gorgeous here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was actually uh, on my way to take it. I took it to the motorcycle calf, H calf in Berensfield. It's about a, a 30 mile round trip. And uh, it seems that this big stretch of 50 mile an hour road at uh, 42 mile an hour was just a little bit too much for it. I'm dying to find out what's gone wrong though. I think it's uh, going to be a message from my other half, I think. Oh no, that's my dad. Dad to the rescue, it seems. Going getting me a long way from the store cupboard, Horace. Yes, sir. Time for the unceremonious mode of moped travel. Pushing. Never mind a walk in the countryside. It's like the most vintage bus stop. 